Well, you had mentioned before that uh, since you've had this problem, you tried a few items from the drugstore and a couple things during the daytime, but it didn't really seem like you got any continuous relief. Well, the problem with this condition is that a lot of people think that the sharpness that they feel in their heel is actually a spur or something causing the pain. And so they try to treat it with cushioning or padding or jelly, cheap jelly insoles. Um, but what's actually happening is that plantar fascia that runs from the heel up to the toes has begun to tear away from the heel. And every day when you walk around on it, you place constant tension and stress and pressure. And then when you go to sleep at night, it heals in a relaxed position. So the body, even though you're not feeling the pain at night, it hurts you in the morning. And that's because your body is healing when you're at rest or when you're sleeping. So in order to really recover from this problem, um, what it's going to take is a daytime and a nighttime solution. Uh, so the tearing that's taking place on the plantar fascia on the heel is actually very similar to as if you had a cut on your knuckle. Okay, If you had a cut on your knuckle, if you've ever had one of those and you stretch it in this position, it's going to keep tearing and ripping open, right? But if you had a cut and you stretched and you healed it in this position, going from here to here doesn't add any strain. So that's going to speed the recovery. Okay, so how do you do that at night? How do you maintain that, that tension or that stress? Well, doctors have prescribed a night splint, um, which keeps the foot in a straight position and actually flexes the foot back and that stretches out the calf. But the real problem is what's happening on the bottom of the foot and that's what we need to take care of. So why don't you go ahead and take your sock off here and go ahead and take your foot and just cross it up here. And if you look at the, you can probably cross it over on your knee here. Also like that. And so if you look at the bottom of your foot when I flex your toes back, that little band of tissue that pops yeah, up there, sure. that's your plantar fascia, right? So what we're doing with the sock is we're actually holding your toes in place as your foot falls, just let your foot fall forward. And that's what's placing the tension on it and stretch it. So if we can hold in that position at night, it's going to help everything else that you're doing work better and it's going to help you get better. And there was actually a research study that was done on the sock that was larger than uh, any study that's ever been done on any other type of night splint showed an average recovery time of 18 and a half days and 97.8% recovered within eight weeks. So it's very effective, but it took you a while to develop this problem, right? And when you first started off, it was a little bruise in the heel and you stretched it and the pain went away. And then you kept doing things, but day by day by day, the pain became progressively worse and, and you just weren't getting that lasting recovery. So it's gonna take time for you to get better. You need to stick with the products that you've selected to treat this condition, keep the proper footwear in place, and then Make, uh, make sure that you uh, incorporate a nice stretching massage or a, a routine. And we have all the tools here that can help you do that.